Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever Spider-Man can. Guys, Goldie coming at you with the Stuff and Things review, and we're looking at the SPDR wave, the Spider-Man offerings from that wave, and from the Marvel Legends Hasbro uh, line. And uh, here they are, two Spider-Men. Now, this one, awesome. This one, yeah, House of M, Spider-Man, guys, I don't know. I never read the House of M storyline. I know about it, though. Mutants took over the world, um, something along those lines. Heroes with superpowers were left. Normal people, normal people go bye-bye. Mutants go here. Anyway, he came with this web effect. Uh, the last time I remember seeing these web effects was with the uh, Amazing Spider-Man Marvel Legend exclusive Walmart line that had, uh, you know, I think it had Superior Spider-Man in it. It had Spider-Man from the movie. It had a lizard that was the Sauron body. But it's a cool little effect, man. It's nice. It's It looks like a web. I like it. It'll work. I'll use it for something. I used to make my own webs webs with uh you know just wrapping wire and coil and it looked really cool but whatever anyway this guy's built on the pizza spuggy body no paint problems no stuck joints he's just house of m spider-man so i don't care get him out of there this one though man yeah we've been waiting for this one man um you know the old hasbro release of scarlet spider or kane was really nice it was decent, but man, did they step it up on this one. Pulled on the Spider-Man $29.99 buck body of the Sunfire body. It's the body it should have been on. The articulations there, the butterfly joints, the paint apps are great. The only problem with mine, it's his head's a little loose on the ball peg, but whatever, it just shakes a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll deal, you know. He's got the little spikes. I mean, that's awesome. The old one was built on the... Really terrible body that Hasbro was reusing from Toy Biz. Love the additional head, the bearded, uh, the bearded, uh, you know, clone of Spider-Man. The uh, look at the eyes. Oh, and he looks, he looks evil. Looks zombified. But it's awesome, guys. Man, comes with an extra set of hands. Came it apart for the SPDR. But man, dude. This is a welcome addition, dude. I really, really, really like this figure. As simple as it is, just black and red. It's great. Great articulation, fun to play with. Um, all the articulation it needs. I mean, this thing's diggity dope, guys. So, again, I get my figures at Mr. Wayne's Pop Culture Collectibles in Westmont, Illinois. Get your butts out there. They got the SPDR uh, wave in stock right now. The Spider-Man waves tend to be... Some of my favorite waves of the year, them and the X-Men waves. As you can see, you can get dynamic poses with this, guys. You guys know what's up, man. Hey, if you like my quick reviews, man, subscribe. Bebop Boop, subscribe. Also, you know, check out Mr. Wayne's on Facebook. Like those guys. Throw those guys a like. Share those guys. Get those guys out there, man. Let's help boost their business. Shop local. Shop small. I mean, those guys take care of you. They take trades. They do whatever, man. They take care of Goldie. They take care of Goldie so much that they get Goldie Walgreens exclusives. Like, Goldie doesn't even have to go to Walgreens. Goldie just goes, hey, guys, looking for thing and magic. And here she is. She's magical. I love her. Joe's probably going to paint her eyes white, but we'll talk about her later. we got a review of her coming up later. It's just my way of saying if, you know, if you want something, Mr. Wayne's will go out of the way to get it for you, man. And that's that's customer service at its best, guys. Anyway, SBDR wave so far. I'm loving every part of it. The Cloak and Dagger review is great. This review is a little shorter because it's Spider-Man. And they're cool. There's really not much to talk about. They're Spider-Man. Guys, again, subscribe, share, check me out on Facebook. I got some cool videos of the Aquabats and Guar from Riot Fest. Guys, Goldie, stuff and things. Ah!